So it's, it's very special to make a really special dinner and sit down at a candle lit dining room table and spend some time together because we can't go out and do that. So we're gonna do it here and you guys can do it too. It's super easy. So I'm gonna take pictures of the girls. I like to do photo shoots whenever there is like some sort of holiday. I love to do like Christmas, birthdays, all sorts of photo shoots. They're my babies, that's what I do. So I just ordered this off of Amazon. I have yet to do a photo shoot with it. It was really cheap and it's really good quality. You can make it go higher and everything and it comes with this white sheet and I can try and link it down below if I can find it, which I probably can easily. Um, but it's really really nice and I'm probably gonna get different colors and I also can take pictures of my cakes in front of it Because I love to have a white backdrop for my cakes. So here comes pig With actually one of my first tips and tricks for you guys. This is a squeaky tennis ball It is her favorite. She loves this over food seriously So this is how I get her attention I get her attention with this and I will be getting Savannah's attention with food because that's what Savannah absolutely loves. It's really difficult to do a photo shoot with both of them, especially Savannah because she's pretty skittish. Um, but Piglet is very, what's the word? Oh no, it went on top of the pool cover. I was afraid of that. Look how smart she is. She goes to the other side. I don't know if you guys can even see that. You can. <laughs> um, but she is so good at taking pictures. Savannah's just super skittish. And whenever they're both together, it's really difficult. But somehow I always get at least one good picture. So I'm just gonna show you guys the process. I'm gonna put out like a few flowers, maybe a Easter basket, and then our awesome neighbor, Rich, gave us, <laughs> she almost ran across it, gave it, she knows not to go on that pool cover, but he gave us some bunny ears, and I'm so glad he did that, because I was like, no, you don't have to, but he brought them over anyways, and I took a few pictures with Piglet with them on. Oh my God, so stinking cute. So we'll see how, um, Savannah does. <laughs> so I love to set up the sheet outside because the natural lighting is just really, really nice. Um, and I was gonna take these pictures tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain. So I'm gonna get them done today, even though it's already starting to get like a little dark out. Um, so I'm just gonna set up some flowers. Never wanna like overdo the decorations. And I'm so thankful it's not windy because normally the wind will make this blow everywhere. And then I have some little bandanas that I'm going to put on the girls. Alright, so I called Savannah out and she immediately knew something was up. She did not want to come out. So let me just put this bandana through her collar. I like that she's sniffing it. She's, you curious? Somebody's grilling and it smells so good and I'm starving. I would love a good steak dinner right now. Okay. You put this on you. It's just a collar, baby. It's not a big deal. She hates collars. <laughs> I guess I would too. It's okay. Okay. Let's get the ears out. She'll freak out over these. takes a lot. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, and you just gotta stay calm. So now I'm gonna go inside and reward them with a bunch of treats and go edit a few pictures and then we can post them on Easter and send out to our family to make people happy even though Easter isn't gonna really get to happen this year which is really sad but oh well. Piggy still has her ears on. Let me go rescue her because I know she doesn't like them. All right, pro tip for everyone. You can still have dates, even if you're stuck at home. So we're making yeah. homemade spaghetti tonight. 
Got some garlic bread going. Got some homemade meatballs, homemade sauce. All you have to do is just light some candles, make it nice and romantic. It's real simple. So we're just gonna cook up the noodles, cook up the garlic bread, and then we're good to go. The meatballs and sauce are done. And uh, Mike and I go out to dinner like all the time, so it's really difficult like not being able to do that right now. Like we love going to whole hands and we can't do that. So we figured we should have our own date night here and make dinner together and semi dress up. <laughs> not really, but whatever. Uh, I'm wearing glasses, which I never do uh, whenever I go out. So I'm not dressed up that much, but it's still gonna be nice to sit down and just have a dinner together rather than like, yeah, I mean, we sit down and have dinner together all the time, but we sit down on the couch, we watch a movie and we eat pizza, like we'll eat takeout food. Um, so it's, it's very special to make a really special dinner and sit down at a candle lit dining room table and spend some time together because we can't go out and do that. So we're gonna do it here and you guys can do it too. It's super easy. You just gotta, Light some candles, make some dinner, and sit down together and act like you're going out for dinner. Sit down and eat some dinner! Mm hmm So that's what we're gonna go do. All right, so we're making some chocolate chip cookies right now. Mike's been begging for them for weeks. Piggy is, is ready to help. She's on the counter in her bed. <laughs> She's ready to go. All right, what do we have to do, babe? So, Michael has been wanting these for weeks, like I said, and I'm gonna teach chili. him how to make them. Yeah, this is chili. You ready, Peg? You ready for chocolate chip cookies? Cookies. Do you want the cookies? I'm ready. This is so exciting. Cookies. This is my best recipe. I shouldn't know how to make my own cookies. Well, I've never seen you bake before, so that would be mm. dirty. Right? That'd be pretty yeah. dangerous if I knew how to make them myself, to be totally honest with you. This sucks. I never bake with like the crock pot in my way. Crock pot. And I have plenty of time and space to move. <clears> Raindrop. That's where I always have it. So. Drop top. Layoff. Your mother divorced me and took the crock pot. I'm melt a half a stick of butter. Melt the butter. Like 40 seconds. And the butter goes in the mixer. Now, I'll, I'll let you know, I'm just gonna mix this up so it cools off a little bit. I'm okay. just gonna let you know, I have a tutorial up on French's Bakery on how to do this, and it's okay. gonna be like a two minute video. Okay, there is a tutorial live. I will uh, link it down below. My secret, secret for the best chocolate chip cookies is Light brown sugar, I used Light to do dark, sugar. and my cookies would turn out like really, really hard, and I always yeah. liked them like super soft and gooey, mm -hmm. and I never knew what was going on, and I tried light brown sugar, and that was the answer. So this is just butter and sugar mixed in together here? Yeah. It's interesting looking. <laughs> yeah, she has two KitchenAid mixers. They're pretty legit. They get, they this see a lot of work. started Fringy's Bakery. So. They see a lot of work. That one's practically broken. I've seen so much work. That one's baked a lot of cakes. This one too, though. Oh my gosh, yeah. Now we're gonna add in our vanilla extract. It's super easy, baby. You just put it all in the mixer. I don't even know how to turn on the mixer, so that would okay. be a problem for me. Oh, once you put the vanilla in, it smells like a cookie. Mm -hmm. You're filming putting in the egg, probably not. There's an oh, egg there's in there. Oh, there's an egg in there? No, I missed <laughs> that part. How did I miss that? I was standing here the whole time. Pig is extremely distracting. She's so cute. Yeah, she's really cute. You trying to sniff those flowers, Peg? They're not oh. real. <laughs> <laughs> she's sniffing them. All right, okay. babe, your beloved chocolate chips are going in next. Oh my God, here we go. I do half chunks. chunks. Mm. Absolutely delicious, guys. See, that? that's bringing the heat right there. Normally I like to do minis, but Giant is sold out of that too. Everything's sold out during Everything's this sold out. horrible panic. So. People have to hoard uh, chocolate chips, because that's an essential item for sure. The biggest part is the baking. It's like, that's where you make them perfect. You just gotta have the right eye to make, know when they're done, for them to be the perfect amount of chewiness. Uh, you think I'll bake them wrong? Oh yeah. That's where everything messes up. There they are, ready to rock and roll. Now it looks like a ball of nothing right now, but just wait until we give it the old YouTube special. Ah, see now that is Perfect right there. That is perfect. Freshly baked, homemade from scratch, chocolate chip cook magooks. Beautiful. About to eat all those in one sitting. It's gonna be so good. Are you kidding me? Thank you, babe. I'm I so appreciate excited. it. There's more in the oven. We're gonna eat them all. Mm. I can't wait. God, that's gonna be delicious. <laughs>